And I want to talk about solving five common trading problems from your SMB survey. So we uh, leafed through all of the 300 plus uh, surveys that were actually sent in, which is quite impressive. And we actually hit upon five common trading frustrations that kept coming up with trader after trader. And what we thought we would do is present them, share them with you, and then provide some solutions for these common trading problems. And I think that some of you are going to be surprised at what I say uh, about a couple of these solutions. <clears throat> so the goals for this presentation are to talk about those results, to offer five common trading problems and solutions for that, and then to embrace, it was interesting, I was uh, asked during an interview today what the culture is at SMB, and actually we were talking about it too. And uh, in my second book, I end the book with this quote, you can be better tomorrow than you are today. My job often, uh, as somebody who runs a trading floor, is to, to be very clear about what we expect from traders and what our culture is. And I often am very consistent with my, ma my message, which is your job is to get better every day. And here are the things that you can do, which we'll talk about in a little bit, here are the things you can do to get better every day. And some of you in the room are starting to see some of those things. And some people think trading is about making predictions or being a hot shot or having unworldly talent. And that's not what I've seen when we've developed traders from scratch to seven figure traders and, 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 and then some. And with our guys who are seven figure traders or close to it, we're not even, we're not saying anything different. We're saying, hey, we got to put together a plan for you to get even better. And that tends to be sticking to a, uh, a plan, developing a trading plan, and then sticking to a process that is going to enable you to get better. And we'll talk some more about that. We'll give you some ideas to become a better trader. And then um, Merit here, and he's going to talk to you guys about helping some of the people in our community to develop a trading plan, which is incredibly important. Our five best traders, who are all in high performing traders, very profitable traders, they are going through the same process that we're going to actually talk about right now. Okay, what's their trading plan for 2000, 2017? How do they get better? They're putting in the work during this month to start to lay the foundation to, to, to improve. All right, so the five common trading problems. And it's interesting because uh, Andrew and Merritt and myself uh, and actually Seth were preparing for this presentation uh, before, before the event and we all were not very surprised by these problems. And if we perhaps do a survey in three years or so, I bet you some of these come up again. But the way we actually provide solutions, the way we actually attack these problems is going to be very different. And the fact that we offer solutions is in of itself very different than you'll find at other places. So those trading problems are, I want to improve my consistency. I'm sure many of you who are sitting here, we got some people in the room, are developing traders. I'm sure some of you have days where you feel like you're the greatest trader in the world. I've made a breakthrough. You know, I crushed it today. Um, I shorted oil at the top. And uh, then you come the next day and you're like, oh, I wasn't as good as I thought. So we'll talk about how to smooth out some of those returns. One of our best traders who made uh, $200,000 last month uh, was negative two days for the trade. He was negative two days. <clears throat> I want to speed up the development as a trader. That's a second common trading problem that we saw from your survey. I want to get better at taking trading losses. I don't have a trading plan. 
or I need a better trading plan and I have no trading edge. So let's get to some solutions. So if you want to be more consistent as a trader, you need to develop a consistent process. An example of a consistent process would be rip through charts after the close. Instead of sitting there watching two hours of TV, take some time, have a process where you're ripping through a, a uniform selection of charts and finding important levels to set yourself up for the next day. I do this every night. Watch the Asian markets open and watch the futures trade overnight and look for levels and direction. Prepare for the open. I like to look at the SMB scanner every day. Some of you have access to those tools. One of the first things I do when I come in is I turn on my scanner and I look for stocks that are up 3% or down 3% that are trading with a little bit higher volume. And then I look to see if they actually have a news catalyst alongside of them. That, that those are the types of stocks that I want to dive deeper with my morning preparation to think about trading. You guys get access to our SMB AM meeting. So Steve Spencer comes on every day, except today his, his dog Bowser was, uh, it's actually, his dog Bowser's sick and uh, he, he, uh, he was at the vet today. But you know, one of the great gifts from your training program that you guys are going through is that you get to listen to Steve talk about the stocks that are most in play for the day you get to listen to somebody who has traded for 20 years, who is a partner at a firm, giving you levels that are most important and why. And he's been doing this every day for 20 years. And he's helping you prepare for each trading session. For you, you should be thinking about mostly what's his thought process for how he actually selects stocks. How is he determining the levels that he's actually looking at? So that one day you can do that by yourself. So you want to start to think about preparing. So Carlton actually does this uh, right now. So, uh, and we'll, we'll, get, we'll get you the newer guys into this as well. But the, but the newest two classes, they meet with Carlton. I used to do this, but now Carlton does it. And Carlton will ask each trader what their roadmap is before the open. What are the stocks, just to make sure they're not gonna waste the open trading things that they shouldn't be. Maybe stocks are too high in price. Maybe certain stocks uh, have a short interest that which are too high. Maybe certain stocks just aren't good trading stocks. Maybe certain stocks don't have a catalyst that's good enough for traders to look at. And so Carlton, our, our floor manager, will provide feedback for whether or not our young guys are in the best stocks. So you want to trade the open connected to, to our chat. I think that's, uh, we always tell the newer guys, uh, write in the chat what you're seeing, call out the best levels. We want to sort of see what your idea generation is so that uh, as a coach, we can maybe pull you aside a little bit later and say, hey, maybe you shouldn't have traded that. Or, um, you know, I liked that you were in that stock, but I did not like when you got in. You could have gotten in. We actually had this conversation with uh, one of our newer guys who was looking at a stock into the close and traded it as a breakout trade and it was really a better uh, support resistance trade. It was, it was, in this case, it was a support trade. It, it should have been bought into the, into the support and not played as a breakout trade. But we can, when, when people are putting their information into the chat and I see that or they're verbalizing it, I can then say to them in real time, well, Good, good stock to be trading, good idea, but entry could be a lot better. The trade itself should be different. We uh, meet in here every day at 11 o'clock. We're going over uh, lessons that I think are important from the day. We're going over uh, asking some of the junior guys what to trade and why, and giving critical feedback for that. We're going over our observations of, of what we saw. But you know what's most important about these things, and, and for some of the people listening at home, you, you don't have the opportunity to actually uh, be with us and uh, trade with us. 
the, what's most important here is just the consistency of the process. And, and, and all of you individually will add certain things and, um, to this list. This is not meant to be an, a, an exhaustive list. But the idea of being consistent is incredibly important to developing consistent process uh, to results. And so some of the other things we do here, um, we have a 12.30 meeting, which we call Trade Center. Right now, we've been using that time to watch tape. So today, uh, I recorded videotape from a trade in XP, uh, EXPR. We'll talk about that trade a little bit later. And there was a moment in time when uh, a, a really good risk reward trade developed. And we'll come in a room like this on most days and I will play back that tape. We will see it in real time. Instead of me sitting in front of a chart and saying, look at this chart, get short here. That, that's, that's productive, but we can be even more productive when I say, look at the tape. Look at the order flow. Look at the time of day. Look at the bids. Look at the offers. Look how it's set up. Look why this is an important moment for the, for the trade. And EXPR, there was, we'll talk about it a little bit later. There was such, there was such a moment where you just wanted to short that stock, whether it worked or whether it didn't work, it was a great risk reward trade, which is really all you can ask for. So watching film back is, is something that you wanna be thinking about doing each day. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do the playbook checkup. So today's Thursday. At 1.30 today, you guys participated in the playbook checkup. That's where a junior trader presents a trade that made the most sense to them in SMB playbook form. And you actively listen to the trade setup, why they made the trade, why they selected the stock, where they entered, where they could have been bigger. You get to see somebody around you put together a very, very specific setup with variables that's a pattern that this trader has had success with and is trying to get better at. All right, so doing a playbook checkup trade is, is important. Ch taking a look at the SMB radar, you can take SMB radar and substitute it for use technology. Have a filtering software that supplements your trade idea generation. So we have something called the SMB radar. It scans the, the universe of stocks for particular stocks that have variables that are most important to us. So you want to have that as part of, of your process. On our desk, uh, you'll hear me say this a lot, when somebody gets good at a trade, when somebody has a really good month, we want them to study that. You need to study your success. And you want to take very proactive steps to use technology to help you to find more trades like that. It's very important in this age. And so guys on our desk are all taught, whenever they find a setup that they really like, break it down into variables, decode that trade, and then go build the custom filter to find more trades like that. Huge, huge way to improve your PL. And I, you'd be surprised that you know, how many traders outside this firm don't do that and how much money they're leaving on the table. All right, you want to trade the close connected to our chat. We have a, a, a mentoring session uh, after the close. Uh, we call it These Guys Are Good. A senior trader will come in, share what's working best for them. You guys have probably heard uh, Dan uh, talk recently. Um, but over the course of the next uh, four or five weeks, most of the senior traders will, will take a shot in here and, uh, <clears throat> and talk to you guys. The SMB Performance Center, uh, creating a detailed trade review. That is something that needs to be a part of everybody's process. I can't take anyone seriously who tells me they want to be a good trader, who doesn't do, do, does not keep a trading journal. And we asked about this actually in the survey. And some people keep it in Excel. And some people actually use the Performance Center. Then we have something called the SME Playbook. You want to archive 
a trade and SMB playbook uh, template form of something that really worked for you on that day. And then you should do some technology work. All right, any questions about this process? What do you look for when ripping through charts? Well, I should ask that to you, Merritt. What are you looking for uh, when you trade in oil? Key levels, you know, just what is the contextual situation to be prepared heading into tomorrow? If we open here, if we open above here, if we open below here, what's going to be on my radar? Where might we retest and go? Where might we, we try and break a level and fail? Where might we revert to? Just thinking of all the different potential scenarios that might be traded around for me, crude oil. But, you know, mainly key levels, but taking it a step further, rather than just drawing lines on a chart and them all being created equal, they're not all created equal. So planning out how you might attack it and what's most important in that name is, is really key for me. Yeah, I think, so this is something Shark likes to do every night. And in terms of technical analysis, uh, a lot of guys will look at daily charts and look for uh, breakouts, breakdowns, important support and resistance levels and help them frame how they're going to attack uh, certain high beta names, certain uh, high beta names like uh, Apple, Facebook, Netflix, Google, um, some of the the market uh, products like IWM, um, uh, the spies, um, Tesla, Amazon. Tesla, Amazon. So they'll take a look at that. That's another example of you want to have a process where you're consistent with ripping through charts. What are you doing to be a better trader for 2017? Right now is a great time of year to take a step back, assess where you're at, and plan for the new year. SMB can help you do that this year. Spend an entire hour with me. We'll take a look at where you are, uh, maybe find a few holes, and I will give you some specific ways that you can improve and things to look at to take your trading to the next level for the next year. It's $75. If you don't feel like you've gotten uh, value from our conversation and it's been a waste of your time, just let me know at the end of our hour, end of our conversation, and we'll give you your money back, no questions. If you do end up doing more serious training with SMB in the future, you can apply that $75 towards uh, whatever course or mentoring or, wh or whatever it is that you end up doing. Literally have nothing to lose here. Uh, I look forward to speaking with you over the next couple weeks uh, as we look forward to 2017 and being better traders than we were in 2016.